what's good my lovelies and welcome to my channel lovely soul empress today i'm going to be doing leo september mid-month check-in if you're looking for a private reading my information will be in the description box if you want to follow me on instagram you'll find me at lovely soul empress as i stated this reading is for leo sun moon rising and venus as well as for the cross watcher if you're dealing with a uh, Leo or someone who has that important placement. As always, I have prayed, shuffled, and meditated on the decks. I didn't get any messages for you guys. I did see indecision at the bottom of the deck. Makes me think that maybe you are confronted with a decision at this time. <clears throat> if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers, okay? And that's what we're gonna do today, spirit. Can you show me what is going on with my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. Messages for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit, for their highest good. Messages for my Leo gang. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the balance of September, Spirit. Ever so grateful and thankful for the bless blessings and the gifts. Please use me as your vessel, spirit, allowing those benevolent spirit guides and ancestors to come through to bring the messages for my Leo gang. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Three more spirit for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you so much, spirit, for bringing forth those messages. One more, Spirit. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck is the tower, okay? I know everybody fears the tower, but uh, it's not always a bad thing, okay? So um, the first row that we're going to do is going to be like what just happened, what just uh, passed. Now, remember, we're all on different timelines, right? So this could have happened a month ago. This could be yesterday, okay? This could be tomorrow, all right, so we are going to jump right in. In that first row, you have um, the Judgment card, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that. Spirit, why is Judgment here for my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. So Judgment is uh, Scorpio energy. Okay, and I feel like... Um, <clears throat> This talks about a decision. I told you I saw the uh, indecision card. This talks about a decision, a final decision, a final judgment, a legal judgment. Uh, it could also be talking about asking the universe um, to deliver karma because you felt something was unfair. Or it could be reconciliation, right? Now, this uh, Six of Wands is uh, clarifying that judgment card so i feel like <clears throat> there may be a judgment a legal judgment coming up and you're going to be victorious in that um if you had went to the universe and asked about um some type of karma or justice you will be receiving that okay let me get one more spirit judgment with the six of wands spirit why for my leo gang sun moon rising and venus six of wands six of wands with judgment spirit why why is the six of wands here with judgment spirit so you got the hangman in reverse okay so i feel like you no longer feel stuck okay you might have um not known what to do or a decision. In other words, if it wasn't a legal matter, um, you might have not known what to do about a situation, but you're coming out of that energy with this hangman in reverse. And whatever decision you chose, you're going to be victorious in that. Okay, now you have the Page of Swords. Spirit, why is the Page of Swords here for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the most important messages they need to know right now, Spirit. For their highest good, Page of Swords, Spirit, for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Balance of September, Spirit. Thank you. So the Page of Swords um, indicates to me that you have blocked somebody or they've blocked you. There's a lack of communication going on here and somebody could be spying, right? 
And then that's being clarified by the Queen of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This queen already knows the truth. She's waiting for the person to tell her the truth. And she'll see if it matches up. And if not, she's going to cut them with the sword, right? Now, this could be you right now. Unless you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? And um, it's because there was some type of argument that ensued. Now, when you see the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, it tells you that somebody rushed in with a harsh truth. They were harsh words, right? And um, you cut this person off and um, you block them, right? And that's being clarified, or they could have done this to you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, right? Now, this Queen of Swords, she might have, um, for the males, for the males, this Queen of Swords might have said something that uh, was too harsh. And you decided you were going to cut this person out. Okay, and this person is watching you. For the females, you are dealing with uh, a King of Wands. And um, you've gone into your Queen of Swords energy because of some harsh truth some words that were spoken and you block this person right seven of pentacles because you felt like there wasn't enough um in other words you planted seeds with this person you were waiting to see if it was growing that was what that indecision was about um and there was a lack of growth or a lack of return on your investment and um whatever truth and clarity came forward that gave you um all that you needed to come out of that hangman position right now you got the ace of pentacles here in reverse spirit why is this ace of pentacles here in reverse for my leo gang sun moon rising and venus why is the ace of pentacles here in reverse spirit let me get one more ace of pentacles spirit why is the ace of pentacles here in reverse one more spirit why is the ace of pentacles here in reverse thank you spirit So the Ace of Pentacles in the upright is the seed for abundance. It could be a gift from the universe. It could be this person offering you their pentacle, um, saying they want to grow with you. This could be a major purchase. This could be a home. This could be a car. Okay. But either way, it's in reverse. Okay. So it feels like there's a lack of coin right now. You might be going through some financial difficulties. A lot of people are. The coronavirus has hit uh, the economy quite hard. But as well, this person isn't giving to this situation the way that they should be. And that's because of this two of pentacles, which is juggling, juggling two ideas, two people or two situations. Right? That could have been what you discovered, that this person wasn't giving wholly to this relationship. Um, and it led to a two of swords, okay, at a crossroads. All right, that's also Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You have a lot of air energy here, right? But this person, um, they could feel at a crossroads too as to whether they really want to give to this situation because of whatever two things they were juggling, right? Home, career, right? Previous family, new family, it could be anything. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a Manifest Your Soulmate card for um, this recent past to see what would help you with what you know um, to get the best outcome. Spirit, can you show me what would help Leo with the information that they just had help them get the best outcome for the situation, Spirit, for what has already passed? What would help Leo? Thank you, Spirit. So you got, according to Greek um, mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. I feel like you guys had this last week. Okay, so I, I'm feeling like there's some type of soulmate connection that uh, you've been going through this uh, for a minute. 
All right, now I'm going to get a um, divine love message. Spirit, how does Leo's person uh, feel that they're not saying? What is a Leo's person feeling but not saying? Anything else, Spirit? What is Leo's person feeling but not saying? Thank you. So our bond is divine and unbreakable. So this person feels like there's a very strong connection between the two of you. Okay, but they didn't give to the situation in the manner in which they should have. This turned you off to this, um, to the direction in which you guys were moving. All right, so now we're going to go into what's happening presently now. Okay, you got the two of swords in reverse. So it looks like you're coming out of that crossroads. Uh, seven of cups and the king of wands. Okay, so let's find out what's going on with that. Spirit, why is this two of swords here? For my Leo gang in reverse, Spirit, why is this Two of Swords in reverse? One more, Spirit, why is the Two of Swords in reverse for Leo? Thank you, Spirit. So the Two of Swords in the upright, I just told you, is a crossroads, not being able to see, right? I feel like the Two of Swords in reverse is denial energy, refusing to see um, the situation for what it is. And then that's being clarified with the Eight of Swords, okay? This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius too. This is looking at your own reflection and feeling like you're stuck, right? A prison of your own making. You see, she's not bound at all, but in the reflection, she sees herself as bound, right? And then that's being clarified by this uh, King of Cups. So this is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But the King of Cups feels deeply, but he wears a mask. He doesn't like to share his emotions. So I feel like this person is wearing a mask. They may be trying to walk around like shit is not bothering them. Right? They're in denial. Okay? Now let's go into this Seven of Cups spirit. Why is this Seven of Cups here for my Leo gang? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So, <clears throat> Seven of Cups is talking about too many options, some of which are illusions, and that there's only one viable choice, right? I feel like you have honed in on the fact that there's too many options here. And then here's the Hermit card, the card of Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like you're in Hermit mode right now because you feel like there's some type of illusion here. And the illusion is that the King of Cups is wearing a mask so you can't really read their energy appropriately and you go into Hermit mode because you don't want to pick the wrong cup. Spirit, let me get one more for this Seven of Cups with this Hermit. Spirit, Seven of Cups with the Hermit. Why, Spirit? Spirit. Okay, something turned over here. Let's see. Yeah. And it's the moon. Okay. So, um, this is you, Leo. This is the sun. Okay, so the sun brought some type of illum illumination to you. All right? And you also are after this happiness. So with this hermit and the sun, I feel like the divine is telling you, okay, that something is not right and that uh, something about the cups, like there's only one cup that is going to work out. So you went into hermit mode to try to figure that out. But the moon is here too. Now, there's a couple things that I see here. Lots of choices and options, right? This is your energy right now. You're trying to figure out what to do. But look at the sun and the moon. That's the mother and the father. The masculine and the feminine. So you're trying to get your um, balance, right? Before you make this decision with the seven of cups as to what cup you should choose. Which is actually good. Now, as regards to this um, moon energy, there's something that you're unaware of, okay? 
it could be what this king of cups is feeling or hiding they could be hiding something from you but um the hermit and the sun is going to illuminate whatever anybody is hiding around you okay because the hermit is connected to the divine okay now you have the king of wands here again now you also have two king of cups here so there could be two suitors coming in your direction Okay, let's clarify this King of Wands spirit. Why is this King of Wands here? For um, my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is this King of Wands here, spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my Leos presently going through this situation, spirit. Why is the King of Wands here for Leo? Let me get one more. There we go. So, yeah, this King of Wands, this is your energy. You could also be dealing with the King of Wands, which would be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or someone who has that in their uh, important placement. But the King of Wands goes after what he wants, right? Knows how to go after it and knows how to get it. All right, so this person is apologizing to you. Okay, I feel like you are the object of their desires. Ten of Wands, okay, so this is talking about um, burdens. They want to lay down the burdens with you. Then at the bottom of the deck, you got the Six of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, but it's also Libra because it's the card of the merchant, right? And this is talking about needing to bring in balance because the merchant sometimes gives to two. And we already had the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this is possibly a third party. If it's not a third party, it's something that this person is weighing against the weight of your relationship with them. And they're trying to assess if this is uh, viable. I feel like you made a decision but what it is, is that with the Seven of Cups, you don't know what's next. Okay, so you're trying to stand your ground from going back. This person is trying to figure out how to come in. And you're still trying to figure out what they were hiding to begin with. All right, so now we're going to get another um, Manifest Your Soulmate card. Spirit, can you show me what would help Leo in this present situation? with this person spirit what would help them manifest the best outcome spirit what would help leo manifest the best outcome what would help leo spirit thank you and where does power come from it comes from within so spirit is telling you that you have the power in this situation all you have to do is come to the realization and get out of the eight of swords energy right I just heard the world is your oyster. All right, we're going to get some divine love message. See what your person is thinking right now. Spirit, what, what is Leo's person feeling but not saying? What is Leo's person feeling but not saying? Spirit, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. I miss you, but I know that our time apart is necessary and ending soon. So this person is trying to come back into you. <clears throat> That's what they're thinking anyway. I feel like this page of cups um, with this apology They're coming in as the page, but they're really the king of cups. So they don't want to overinvest because they're afraid of the decision that you're going to make. Now we're going to go into what is the balance of this uh, September month, right? And you've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles, which is looking pretty promising. Okay? Okay. So let's see what's going on with that spirit. Why is this wheel of fortune 
here for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? So the Wheel of Fortune is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So this is your energy and the wheel is turning in your favor, right? You're a fixed sign and um, I'm a Taurus too, so I'm another fixed sign. And uh, the wheel is ours, okay? So we often can turn it at will. Now you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so this is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But this night is a very slow-moving night. So this tells me that you were waiting for something to happen in this relationship for a long time, and it didn't come. And then some type of uh, truth and revelation came forward that told you that there wasn't going to be movement in this situation because there was a two of pentacles. You hit a crossroads. You had to remove yourself. This person felt stuck by how um, they felt at a crossroads too and a prison of their own making because uh, they refused to take off the mask. And then now you're unsure of how to move forward because you can't see clearly what the next step is. But this person is coming into you apologizing, saying they want to uh, lay down the burdens, but the wheel has turned already, right? And if you see this knight, he's walking on foot like he got all the time in the world. And you're not feeling that. Spirit, let me get one more. Wheel with the Knight of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. So now this person comes with a little bit of a stronger offer. Remember, they're the king of cups. They came first as the page of cups. Now they're coming back as the knight of cups. Trying again, this time trying to woo you a little bit. You see the little picnic blanket there, right? Like, I'm sorry, I love you. Because to me, this card always means I'm sorry and I love you, right? The page of cups is more like I, I apologize. Doesn't necessarily mean they want to come back, right? But this one, I feel like that's what it does mean. Now you have the Empress. Spirit, why is the Empress here? For my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is the Empress here for my uh, Leo gang, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Something flipped out. Let's see what that is. The wheel again. Okay. So now, the Empress is Taurus and Libra. This is the mother of the world, the mother of creation. She is quite abundant. Uh, often she's a business owner. She can manifest whatever she wants, right? Um, she might have somebody who she has in her heart, but she doesn't wait for them. She doesn't chase anybody, right? The empress is the embodiment of all four queens. She don't have to go after anybody. She knows her worth, right? And that's being clarified again by the wheel. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So first off, for the females, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. And maybe you're trying to determine whether or not you are going to uh, have this baby on your own because you don't really trust this person, or if you should let them uh, hop on your wheel and come with you. You could be physically moving away. For the gentleman, the object of your desires is showing up as the empress and she could be with child. Now, for the ones of you that are not pregnant, you might have started a business or something that is causing you to be quite abundant. I feel like you manifested this wheel to turn. And you don't want anybody riding your coattails off of your hard work, spirit, the empress and the wheel. Why? Why is this empress in the wheel here for Leo? Right. 
So that's being clarified by the Ten of Cups. So this person, they realize that they have so much love for you. They see you as the Empress. The problem is um, the wheel is already moving. I feel chariot energy. They're trying to stop the chariot, right? Like, don't leave me, please. Look who's at the bottom of the deck, the Empress, okay? Some of you are really finding out about a baby. Now, you got the Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Thank you, Spirit. So the Ten of Pentacles is the happy life, happy, no, it's the uh, community, family, um, generational wealth, and building legacies. This is what you were doing with this person. But in the beginning, the Ace of Pentacles came in the reverse. They weren't willing to give what they needed to give because they were too busy juggling the Two of Pentacles. But now, um, all of this is coming in the upright. Six of Swords, wanting to move away to calmer waters with you. They've already um, told you they want to let go of this Ten of Wands uh, burdens. And now, finally, the Ace of Pentacles comes up in reverse. It took them a hell of a long time with that um, Knight of Pentacles uh, on foot, walking next to the horse instead of riding on the horse, right? So it took forever. And um, the only thing that made it take so long was that you were patiently waiting. And once you stopped patient, patiently waiting, this person uh, was forced to uh, take action. And then you see at the bottom of the deck is the two of wands, right? So they had to, they had to take action. You forced them with your lack of action for the first time. Because I feel like all the time you were leading. And then finally you got sick of this shit. And you were like, no, I'm not doing the work for the two of us. So you backed off. And then this person saw that the, you know, the wheel was turning without them and they had to come to a decision. Spirit, what will help Leo manifest the best outcome they can for this, um, the rest of September, Spirit? What would help Leo manifest the best outcome they can for the rest of September? What will help Leo, Spirit? You are, you are uh, moving on onto a steady and reliable path. So spirit is saying you're on the right track. You took back that power, okay? Sometimes a silence um, speaks a thousand words. I felt like when you cut them off, they came to a realization. Okay, and now we're going to do some divine love messages again. Spirit, can you show me what Leo's person is feeling but not saying, Spirit? What is Leo's person feeling but not saying? Fate brought us together, so they feel like you are their other person. I told you they see you as the empress, right? And I have nothing but love for you, but I cannot profess it to you now i must win the fight against myself to do so so i feel like what's happening is that they're showing you that it's coming in slowly with that knight of pentacles because this person is fighting their in internal demons right i feel like this person didn't see long-term longevity at first they thought it was just supposed to be fun and then things took a serious turn and um you had to make a decision based on their lack of movement and that ended up forcing them to make a decision now also if there's a pregnancy involved that's going to escalate uh, this movement because the person is not going to be able to um, 
Like, let's say if, it, if you're a male and your partner is, is finding out that she's pregnant, if she's a, been a, avoiding up until this point having to make a decision, she has no choice. She's going to wake up every day and see it and know that, hey, my belly is growing. I need to decide where I'm going. Um, in the reverse, um, this person is going to become real. Everything that's going on is, is going to become real by your lack of presence, okay? Now we're going to move on to this tower. Spirit, why is the tower here as the overall energy? Why is the tower here as the overall energy, Spirit? Why is the tower here as the overall energy, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me get one more. Thank you. So the tower is a moment that happens when we when something's built on a faulty foundation <clears throat> and sometimes it's just something that uh takes us by surprise unwanted uh surprise something we didn't expect to happen i feel like that's what's happening they didn't expect you to go cold on the situation they didn't expect that you would pull back your energy, that you would um, call final judgment on them. That tower is Scorpio energy. Now, this, and that's how we started with the judgment card, Scorpio energy, and we ended with Scorpio energy. Now, this is the emperor. This is Aries, and I also get it for Taurus too. So the emperor is a CEO, a boss, a business um, contractor, independent contractor, manager, somebody with authority. Sometimes he's married. Sometimes um, he can be controlling. Now, for some of you, this person was getting out of a marriage and um, they met you and they weren't wholly ready for the level of that this relationship would call for. Like they thought it was going to be light and, and playful. Okay. Um, and they didn't want to really give to a commitment fully after coming out of a situation. Okay. But then all this other stuff happened and they found themselves having more feelings than they expected. And that's the tower, right? Now, also, this is the temperance card, which is clarifying that tower still. Now, temperance is patience, healing, divine timing, favor from the universe, and reconciliation. So I feel like divine timing is at play, right? And this, I miss you, but I know that our time apart is ending and necessary soon. And then it says, I have nothing but love for you, but I can, can't profess it right now. Because I must win the fight against myself to do so. That's very emperor energy. Doesn't like to uh, admit that they're wrong or or to be humbled. I feel like this situation was humbling for them. And then the empress again. So now you have the tower, the emperor, temperance, and the empress. So uh, reconciliation for sure. Right? Divine timing for sure. And also, um, there could have been a Sagittarius that, um, that has passed, that has their hand in this situation, a family member. For some of you, you was grandpa's uh, apple of his eye, I heard. Grandpa's apple of his eye. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, take some love and romance. Actually, let's do the soul's journey for a spirit. Can you show me what's going on with my Leo gang? Some Moon Rising and Venus. Okay, you got two. The first is blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Um, for a time there, you might have um, 
when you were in the indecision, you blamed them for not making a choice, but spirit is saying you had the power all along. Okay, and then you have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And that's because you were unsure about taking back your power. You were afraid because you couldn't see what was going to happen next. But as soon as you did it, you got results. Spirit, can you show me what's going on with Leo's person? What's going on with Leo's person, Spirit? What's going on with Leo's person? So the first is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So they had to lose you to understand how important you were to them. And then gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So you made them feel alive again. Up until that point, they, they were just uh, bumping along in life, like whatever. They had lost zest. But you pulling back made them um, go through grief, but it also gave them passion again because they became passionate about getting you back. Okay, now we're going to get some love and romance. Angels, look at the bottom of the deck as the soulmate. Spirit, what does Leo feel for their person, Spirit? What does Leo feel for their person? What does Leo feel for their person, Spirit? What does Leo feel for their person? So you might have children with this person. And I told you I see a pregnancy coming. Okay, um, you want them to let go of control issues. I mean, if they're the emperor, it's going, you know, they have some control issues, right? And then this could be the one. So you feel very attached to them, but you also feel like you deserve love. And so that's why you pull back your energy. And then, um, you know, keeping an open mind, right? So I feel like that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to keep an open mind. But you pull back your energy, even though you, you have a lot of love for this person. Spirit, what does Leo's person feel for them? So they want to express how they feel to you. And then here's the reconciliation card. Okay, now here's the engagement card. Okay, so first off, I'm going to tell you what I heard. If this person just got out of a divorce, don't get engaged yet because underneath that card is the separation card. In other words, they're not ready for that whole level of commitment just yet, but under that card is true love. So in other words, if you rush it, you'll ruin it. Okay, now, Leo, what action will Leo be taking towards their person spirit? What action will Leo be taking for their person? What actions will Leo be taking for their person? So you got the trust card here. So you're trying to um, figure out if you can trust this person. Um, and you got the flirt card. So I feel like um, you're trying to keep your energy light and... Um, and trying to stay optimistic. See, so finish my sentence at the bottom of the deck, right? Spirit, what is Leo's person? What actions will Leo's person be taking towards them? So um, they got true love. So they feel you're their true love and they want to let go of control issues, all right? They'd like your forgiveness. And understanding, it says forgiving and learning, but I heard forgiveness and understanding as to why it was that it took them so long. Spirit, what's the outcome of this situation for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for Leo? What's the outcome for my Leo gang, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for Leo? Okay, so you got the love yourself first card and deception. 
So I feel like this person is still somewhat in denial. I said denial earlier in this reading. Um, they're still in denial as to what it is they really want. So they have strong feelings for you, but they also want to be free because I feel like they were in a relationship for some time, right? For the others of you that you are the person that you've been with this person for a long time, they have a secret. They have a secret. You did have the moon card in um, the reading. There's something that's still you're unaware of. Okay, so you need to be careful with this person. They have some things they still need to work out before they can come into you in the appropriate manner. So for some of you, it may only be like one person. There may be two people pregnant. I'm going to leave it at that. Spirit, can I get some advice for my Leo gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So you're going to get an offer from this person. Remember that I said that this person is wearing a mask. And you need to... Um, you need to understand that this person has some things that they haven't worked out yet. It's not that they don't have feelings for you. It's that they're not in the spot, 4141 on the clock. Um, they're not in the spot right now um, to give you what it is that you need, is what I heard. Okay, so I uh, wish it was better news. Okay, I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming to spend some time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing y'all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.